Hey guys, this is the Octal VC switch from Softwire. Uh, it's a major part of my system here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why that is. Um, before I do that, I'm going to give you a little background. Uh, when I was patching, when I first started patching, I noticed that there were certain things that I patched and unpatched them. Like this is an LFO right here. And I thought that was kind of cool, being able to do that as kind of like a performance thing. But I thought, you know, what if there was a way I could do that via remote, like a button, or, or better yet, even a gate? Well, that's where this thing comes in. The Octo VC switch has a common, and then it's got two that are connected to the common, and then it has the gate input. So, for example, if I was to take this same link, plug that in there, plug my LFO into the common. Now, with a push of a button, You get the idea there. Here I've got a gate coming from the Tempe. I could still override this. Or for that matter, I could take the whole sequence out. Now, this is the gate going here. I'm going to plug this into, these are momentary down here, and these are latching up here. And you can see the lights there. I'm going to patch this in here, into the common actually. And I'll run one more cable out. back into the gate in on the no coast. Fire off my sequencer. Now I could turn that gate on and off here. It's just a clever way of connecting and disconnecting patches. Okay, another way to patch this. I called this the common. These two are attached to it, and it works both ways. So I've got a much slower LFO coming out here. I'm going to fire up my sequence. I plug my LFO destination into the common. Take my slower LFO here. I plug that in right here. This LFO has a slower, different characteristic than the faster one. I'm going to take the faster one, plug it into the other side of the switch. Of course, I can get my clock going with that. going to show you another patch here. These buttons are terrific, by the way. These capacitive buttons. One, another thing about this is that these will send out, with nothing patched into the common, they will send out gates. So I'm going to make a quick patch here. Get the Basimilis going on in here. I'll just plug in a trigger. 
And there you have it. Simple way to just send gates out. And of course, with a clock, same thing there. I make it a little bit more complicated patch here. I'm going to take this, whoops, take this gate out here. I'm going to send a piece of that out to the mafs. And you can see the mafs going off there. I'm going to take the math channel here and plug it into the fold. Maybe I don't want that to do that every time. So I'm going to plug that into one of the latching switches here. Get that master channel back out. Plug that into there. Of course, that could all be done with the clock. I'm going to plug a clock into this one. That's going to switch back and forth. Plug the other clock into here. You get the idea there. Show you a little clock divider action because all of these switch the way they do. I'm going to take this clock out here, which is running at the same sequence. But things will happen not as often, like half as often here. I could take one of those switch events and patch it into the next one. so on. Right, with the same patch going on with my clock divider, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a, the output cycle of maths here, patch that sucker in. But the switcher will go at audio rates. All right, in this last patch example, because the Octal VC switch does switch at audio rates, that means you can have a sub oscillator. Let me see if I can 
manage to pull this off here. I've got a square wave coming out of the no coast here. Plug it into the switch. Well, actually, I'm going to malt that. In one side there. Get one side out into the switch. And I'm going to take another one out into the mod to mix here. I'm going to use that as a VCA. I am going to patch a gate out from the Renee into MAFs. I already have an envelope set up. Okay, Renee's going. Let's do an output. the maths into the mod to mix and out from the mod to mix sorry about that nice plucky little square wave now I'm going to take another of that maps channel here. We'll get into the other half of the mod to mix. I'm going to take that square wave I've made here on the switch. Now this is going at half the rate, mind you, so plug that in there. Take its output here. There you go, sub oscillator. So as you can see, the Octal VC switch, it's got a lot up its sleeve, and that's just part of it. Thanks for watching.